Welcome to Excel Steady Steady. Today we will be looking at the upper, lower and proper functions in Excel. And towards the end of the video, I will also share with you some imperfections of the proper function and how we can work around them. So, I would really encourage you to stay until the end of the video. I am sure there are times that you will need to go through the list of messy lettering in a document during the course of your work. The upper, lower and proper functions in Excel will allow us to efficiently change the case of the letters in a sentence or word. Over here on the screen, you can see that it is a list of customer name with different lettering all over the place. We will use the lower function to change all of the lettering to lower case. So we will first key in equal, then lower. Open bracket. Now, select the text that we want to change the case of the letter for, in this case is cell A2. Close off the bracket and hit enter. You can see, the lettering has all been changed to lower case for the first customer name. Hover to the bottom right of the selected cell until you see cross sign. Double click and fill down. So, this is how we can change all the customer name in this list to lower case. Now, let us change all the customer name in this list to upper case. We will use the upper function. Key in equal, then upper, open bracket. Select the text that we want to reference to in cell A2. Close off the bracket. Hit enter. And then fill down the cell. This is how easy it is to use the lower and upper function to change the case of the text. Now, we will look at the proper function. The proper function will change the case of the first letter in each word into upper case, and for each subsequent letter to lower case. Key in equal, then proper. Open bracket. Select the text we want to reference to, cell A2. Close off the bracket and hit enter. Do the same like how we did, double click on the cross sign and fill down. So now we can see, the first letter of each word is in upper case. The letter following is in lower case. Isn't this awesome? Now, one thing to note is that the proper function do comes with some imperfection. Let me show you some of its imperfection and some of the workaround. The first imperfection is when our sentence have apostrophe s. The proper function will convert the S in the apostrophe to upper case. Can you see? The S in Domino's Pizza is in upper case. The reason is because, the proper function will convert each letter after punctuation into upper case. To resolve this, we will have to use substitute function together with the proper function. Substitute function can be used in Excel to replace either a letter or a word in a text string. In our case over here, we can use it to replace the upper case S to the lower case. Let me show you how this can be done. First, key in equal, then substitute, open bracket. The first parameter in the substitute function will be the text that we are going to replace the apostrophe s. In our case, cell b3, enter comma, second parameter will be the word or letter we will be replacing. So we can enter open inverted comma, apostrophe, big letter s, close inverted comma, comma, the next parameter will be the new word or letter we are going to replace with, so we can key in open inverted comma, apostrophe, small letter s, close inverted comma, close off bracket. Let's pause here to look at the parameter. We have the text that we are replacing the apostrophe s with as the first parameter, then the apostrophe with big letter s as the second parameter, apostrophe with small letter s as the third parameter, Okay, now we can hit enter. So you can see, we have used the substitute function to replace the apostrophe s. So now let us combine this function with the proper function in cell b3. Over here, let us key in substitute, open bracket. First parameter, we can nest in the proper function with cell a3. Then comma. Key and open inverted comma, apostrophe, big letter S for second parameter. Comma. Q 
key and open inverted comma, apostrophe, small letter S for third parameter. Close off inverted comma and bracket. Hit enter. And we have solved the first imperfection that we have covered for the proper function. Another imperfection is when we have situation when the double I prefix represent for two. Example Spider-Man 2 for movie, 2 is represented by double I. Let me show you what is the result of this text if we apply the proper function. You can see the second I turn into lower case. Unfortunately, this isn't the result we want, what we wanted is to keep both I as upper case. To resolve this, we can again use the substitute function. As before, key and equal, then substitute. First parameter will be proper function with cell A6. Comma. Second parameter for this round, we will key in. Open inverted comma. Big letter I, small letter I. Close inverted comma, and comma. Open inverted comma. Double big letter I. Close inverted comma. Close off the bracket and then hit enter. So now the text Spider-Man 2 movie makes more sense. Coming to the third imperfection. When we have letter that represents state code at the end of the text, the proper function might also convert the letter to proper case. For example, the CA which represent tax code for California will be convert C to upper case and A to lower case. Let's test this out using the proper function. Can you see? The letter C is in upper case and A in lower case. To work around this, since the word California is in the proper case now, we can use the left function to extract the text. Key in equal, then left. Open bracket. Select cell B9. Comma. Key in len. Open bracket. Select cell A9. Len function will gives us the number character in cell A9. However, we want to exclude the letter C and A so we need to subtract 2 from the return value of the function. So we will key in minus 2. Now, we can close off the bracket and hit enter. Now what about the state code? Okay, for the state code, we can use the upper function to convert the C to upper case and then use the right function to extract the two letter. Let's key in equal, then write, open bracket. Select B9, comma, Enter 2 for the second parameter. Close off the bracket. Hit enter. So this is how we can convert the case of each word separately. So, now we can proceed to combine both of them. So let's pause for a while and understand the formula. The left and proper function will be extracting the word California and converting it to proper case. The right and upper function will extract the two letter CA and convert them to upper case. All right, now hit enter. So this are some of the methods you can use to work around some of the imperfection of the proper function. We have come to the end of the sharing session Hope you enjoy this video. There is also other videos in this channel that you might wish to check out on other functions of Excel. I have leave the link below in the description. And if you wish to see more of these, do smash the subscribe and like button. See ya in next video.